Hi guys, it's Matt with My Designs. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create digital product mockups in bulk using My Designs. So let's get started. I'm on the dashboard page of the My Designs website here. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is go to listings. Now this took me straight into the listing that I already have pre-set up um, with some data and some frog images here that I'm going to use um, as examples for these digital product mockups. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is make sure that we have all of the um, images inside of this collection selected and we can do that by going to the top left corner here where you see the six the six represents how many designs are inside of this collection so we'll click that and we'll select all so now it shows six out of six designs are selected next we're going to want to go to more actions and then we'll go to mock-ups from here, I already have one file slot created, and you can see that where my mouse is here. This is the primary one, and this is the additional one that we've created. So we're pulling from the primary file slot, which means it's gonna use the image in the primary file slot. And then we're going to put the new mockup in mockup one. Um, for this first example, we'll go ahead and use this wood background mockup. Um, so next we can actually change what we would like these words to say. Um, primary keywords is what it is um, just by default showing, but we can map this with our um, data that we have populated already. Um, so for this first one, I think I'm going to use keyword one, which would be the, just the, what I have the design named. Um, for the second one, I'll use keyword four, which is gonna show which file types this is. Um, you know, if someone wants to purchase this on Etsy. Um, we have the option to change the color of the text by clicking here. Um, I do like it as black though. And then we have the option to change the background of this um, wood design here if we would like, but I like it white as well. So next I'll generate a preview so that we can see what this looks like. And it should just take a moment. And there you have it. So we have our design right there on the white wood background. And then we have frog mushroom, which is what I have this one named. And then SVG, PNG, JPEG, and PDF are the file types that I would be selling this as or an Etsy customer would be downloading if they were to purchase this. Um, so next we'll go and click create mockups. Uh, you can see under active jobs here, it says six designs in queue. Um, this usually works fairly quick. It shouldn't take longer than about 30 seconds max to be done. Next, I'll show an example of another design, or excuse me, another mock-up. Um, but first, I did want to mention um, where I'm pulling the data from. So Frog Mushroom pulls from the title here, or keyword one, I believe is what we had it set as, which is also the same as the title. Um, SVG, PNG, and JPEG were all pulling from keyword four, um, which I had set up here. So all of these um, data sets are filled out the exact same way here. Um, so we can choose to use any of these that we would like in our new mockups. Um, I wanted to show you guys that so you weren't confused as to where that data was coming from because you could only see the default um, tab here, not the keywords one. So like I said, to create more mockups, we'll go to more actions, mockups. Um, once again, we're pulling from the primary file slot. I will need to create an additional mockup file slot because we don't have another one. We can do that by clicking the plus button here and we'll name this one mockup two, hit the check mark and yes. So now we've selected mockup two is where we'd like this new one to go to. Um, for this example, let's use a poster. Um, we'll use this poster here and we'll generate a preview to see what it looks like. And now that that's done, that's the preview of what it would look like. Um, I'll go show you another example without creating this as a mock-up. Um, like I said, this is just a preview, so we'll go select another one to uh, show a different example. Um, we'll use this poster for this one and we'll generate a preview again. And there you have it, that one's done now. That's what that looks like. Um, one thing I do wanna show you guys is you can not actually change the background color of this um, poster mock-up and we can do that by selecting um, a color or we can select the dropper. Um, I think it might look kind of cool if we just select um, maybe this dark red color that's on that mushroom. I will click generate preview again and see what that looks like with the red background. 
Now that that's done, that's what it looks like if the wall was painted red behind it. Um, so we'll use this as our next example and click Create Mockups. Uh, once again, like I said before, under Active Jobs, you can see that working. Uh, shouldn't be longer than about 20 seconds. And now that that's done, we'll go ahead and view these in a grid view again. I uh, will select Mockup 2 here. And there you have it. Um, just like that, we've created six more mockups for these um, particular designs. Now I want to show just one more example of uh, mockups you can create here. Uh, so once again, we'll go to more actions, mockups. Uh, we're pulling from the primary file slot and here we'll need to create an additional mockup slot that we'll name mockup three, check mark, and yes. Um, so now the next one I'd like to use as an example um, is this brick background one. Uh, this one allows us to use the um, primary and keyword or primary and secondary keywords if we'd like to um, and you don't always have to use these if you if you wouldn't like to like if we left those as none and were to generate a preview you would just get your image on that background without those words there um, so for this example we'll go ahead and use the keywords two and the keywords for um, examples so this is going to say keyword two is going to be on top and it's going to say digital download and then keyword four is going to show us our file types once again. Um, if we would like to, we can change the color of the text. Um, I'll show an example of it just um, so you guys can can um, see what it looks like. I uh, will use kind of just uh, a lighter red here and then for this one we'll use the dropper to make sure we have them the same color. Um, and we can also change the background here. So as you can see, um, the primary color is set to white. Um, I'll change the background. Uh, let's do more of a black color just so that you guys can see um, a different one. And then we'll click Generate Preview. So there it is, that's done now. I think that one actually looks pretty good as it is like that. So we'll go ahead and click Create Mockups. And under Active Jobs, once again, you can see that that's working. Now that that's done, we'll go ahead and look at that in the grid view again. And there you have it. As you can see, we've created six more additional uh, digital file mockups. Um, and I believe that puts us at a total of about 18 that we've done in a matter of less than two minutes. Um, so I hope you guys can see how useful this can be. And I did want to mention as well that you can publish these as digital downloads with our Etsy integration. And you can do that in bulk, just as we created these mockups in bulk. And I'll also make a future video explaining how to do this. Um, so that should do it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel for future My Designs content.